That is one nil to the benefit boys in this series. But we are a best of five, so anything can happen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a good day. And I hope you're, uh, you're looking forward to tomorrow as well. Because I did feel like, oh, I just joined the team. Oh my god, I was autopilot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, my bad, my bad. Uh, I, that was just that was that was a uh, muscle memory. I haven't cast in that long. It was just muscle memory to press auto. Apologies. Uh, scuffed string, scuffed caster. Uh, anyway, I forgot. What was it? Yeah, it's interesting to see if we'll see any more controlling and from either of these teams and maybe pressure because it was a bit of back and forth quick goal from Koskotopia didn't even let me finish my sentence coming out with a bang here trying to prove that he that with Central are going to take game two that's that's what we like to see because last game was a bit of back and forth waiting for mistakes I want to see a bit more calculated attack and pressure coming out from these two two teams and Koskotopia is putting it on right off the gate 20 seconds in not messing about Another shot on net from Kuskatopia. He is, he is on a mission right now. Demo coming out from Bells. Not much came of it. Got a bit of an attack coming out here from the Benefit Boys. Nice shot from Bells, but met by Kuskatopia. Won the pre-jump challenge for Kuskatopia. Passes it to Yuntar. Up to Bright Ollie, the link-up player. The 1-2-3. I'm lucky to not get a shot on net there. I like to see plays like that, though. Not just clearing it, but linking up between teams. And what has happened there with the rotation? It all fell apart. When it comes down to it, with Central fall apart in just the last second. But I'm not quite sure who it was, but someone just wasn't in the position they needed to be. Well found by Roland later to, see, to capitalize on that, though. To see the opportunity and just, just in that moment, all he needed to do is get it on target. But, you know, you're on stream. Pressure's on. I missed open goals just playing ranked, so, you know, good on him for scoring it. And now we have a 1-1 game. It is, uh, I think it is going to be a spicy series. I hope everyone's enjoying it. Got a free shot for Kuskatopia, and he's missed. Oh, Yuntar cleans it up. It's okay. Both teams' rotations do not seem to be overly slick. I don't know what happened with Roland later there. Uh... Slip, slip, on, slip on the controller? I don't know. But uh, we now have a 2-1 game. I don't feel like any of these goals have been particularly outstanding. Is that off kickoff? Okay. I was going to say, another goal like that. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting, I wanted all six players to sort of settle into this series a little bit more. Show us what they've got. Because that's what this is all about. The tryouts. Great save from Bright Ollie. That is so clutch. I was ready to announce that goal, honestly. So Bright Ollie might be settling in. Oh no, that's an unfortunate challenge. Oh my god, my Koskotopia's missed. What is going on in this series? This is, this is not what I expected, I'm not going to lie. Not the greatest challenge from Bright Ollie, 50 from Bright Ollie. And Koskotopia just misses. There's, sometimes life hits you too hard. Oh, don't we all know it? That is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm miffed, honestly. Considering I, I know that all of these players are very good Rocket League players. And play to a high standard. But I'm, you wouldn't guess it watching this, this game, I'm not going to lie. 
can we get a great 50 from Kosokopia? That's more like it. He was very calm and collected in that in that last third. Didn't have much boost, but just read where Roll Nato was going to hit it. Put his car, his whole car, vertical flat. There was no way that ball was getting past him. And even better, it went in the net. This has been a very, very goal heavy first two minutes. Five goals already. I think this game alone is going to be a spicy one. That was a bit more like it from Kuskatopia. A, a well earned goal, I'd say. Demo coming out from Bright Oli. Shout out any challenge there. Bit of a whiff from Kuskatopia. Just hands the ball to Bells. A whiff from Bright Oli as well. I mean, whiff central. Living up to the name. What can I say? Uh, Kuskatopia taking it up the left side. Met by Rollinator. He should get another touch here. He does. He is charging up the right side. Well met by Bells. Kuskatopia cut that out though. That was really well done. That was a dangerous ball. He needed to get that touch. Uh, Nice challenge from Bells to take the ball off Bright Oli. Didn't even let the pass happen. We like to see that. Seems like both teams are settling in a little bit to this game in particular. Seem to be a little bit smoother. Yimtar with a well, pass to himself. A little bit of a miss. Got Roland Nader that doesn't have much boost. It doesn't seem like the Benefit Boys have much boost going. Uh, so this could be a good opportunity for West Central to extend their lead, maybe. They seem to be pretty Solid on boost right now, having boost control. Don't know what Yumtar's trying on the wall. Uh, no idea. But whatever it was, it didn't really pay off. A little bit of a miss on the flick from Bright Ollie, but Kuskatopia cleans up, safe and sound, and now they're mounting attack. Well met from Roland Nader. Didn't even give Kuskatopia the space. And no, Bright Ollie. You hate to see it. An unfortunate whiff. Nice, nice hit from Roland Nater on the side wall. Nicely, nice contact. But I do feel like Roll, uh, Bright Ollie could have got that last touch. But now we have a 3-3 three, three, three game. 1 minute 25 left. Who is going to take game 2? Again, we've got to this point. I have no predictions. No, neither team is particularly showing that they are going to be the ones that take this game or this series. It, it does seem like a very even back and forth right now. Penguin Ed trying to take it up the field, not really doing too much. Bright Ollie cutting that out. A hit on goal. Nice save from Roland Nater and the second shot from Cuz Katopia going for the rebound. Well met by Bells. That was a, another dangerous shot. Benefit Boys did well to not concede there. That was, that was solid defense. That could have been a, a shot from Penguin Ed. It just didn't quite catch it, right? I was very unlucky to not score on that counter-attack. It seems like both teams are trying to trying to send this game in regulation. Great save from Kuskatopia. I thought that was definitely a goal. Now we have Bright Ollie coming up the field on the counter. What can he do with this ball? He's taking it slow. Oh my... Oh. This, is, this, is, this is an intense last 30 seconds. Great save then there from the Benefit Boys. I didn't quite see who did that. This, both teams really want to get that winning goal. They do not want an overtime here. But it looks like it might go to overtime. But the with Central are in a dangerous dangerous attacking position right now. They, they definitely could have another shot right now. Oh, just over from Kuskatopia. That could have sent it. Now we have a juicy overtime in game two. This, this could go either way. I have no predictions in this overtime. It all depends on which team's going to make the mistake of double commit there coming out from the Benefit Boys. That puts Bells in a really bad position. Yumtar finishes it. Wasn't that long of an overtime, but what a game that was. It, the, benefit, the Benefit Boys with the double commit, that really, really put uh, Yumtar in a really bad position. It would have been amazing if he'd uh, got that save. But not Yumtar. I forgot he was in. My mind's all over the place. Only Casper. But what a game. What a game two. So now the Whiff Central got game two. Going into game three. Both of these games have been so even. Ne neither of them uh, neither of them have been particularly dominant. Neither teams looked, looked particularly bad either. And I still think this series could go either way. And uh, yeah, this time, this time I will be paying attention. And I will not also join like a pleb. Apologies for that. 
That was a that was a rookie error. But anyway, what what a, what a, what an opening two games we've had. Didn't know James Bot was in the lobby. Yeah, that is a that is a James Bot maneuver. See, if they do it in RLCS, I can do it here. Exactly. It goes it goes all the way up to the pro casters and observers. Can we get some predictions in chat? Who do you think is going to take this game three? Or even the series, for that matter. Because I am none the wiser. Both, both teams were looking, looking strong. Kuzkotopia looked really good in that game. Like he, was, he was dominating. He was dominating offense and defense, coming in clutch. Saw a lot of good plays from Bright Ollie in that game. Some very clutch saves. Some good little ones maneuvers. Hope to see more of that. Anyway, let's get into game three. Even kickoff. Utah looking to capitalize on it. Oh my! A little bit of a getting in each other's way there from the benefit boys. Hopefully that was just first ten second nerves, and they can shake that off. Because any more of that, and you're going to see Cosmotopia capitalizing on it instantly. Penguin Ed with not much boost. Cosmotopia shut that out straight away. Rollinator with a pinch. I'm not sure that's quite where he wanted it to go. Great pass from Bright Ollie. Unlucky from Yunta. That could have definitely been a goal. Really good pass from Bright Ollie, though. That's a good start from him. Off the backboard from Cosmotopia. Misses the double. Penguin Ed shuts that out. Great play from him. Almost capitalized on the pressure he was putting on. But Bright Ollie there to clean it up. But Benefit Boys have got some pressure right now. Right off the gate. Although, looks like West Central might... No, Bells has taken it right back to them. This has been quite a bit of pressure on, from the Benefit Boys in this first minute. One of the slightly more dominant first minutes I've seen. Although, we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what West Central can do with possession. They've still got possession. A oh, little bit of a double commit. And Utah with a not great touch leaves West Central in a not great position. And gives Benefit Boys the possession. Nice touch from Roland Nato. Sends it up to Penguin Ed. Doesn't have much boost. If he had boost, I feel like there could have been a little something going on there. Unlucky from then. Good challenge from Bright Ollie. That was a confident 50-50. Can he get another one? Oh, he can. He's, he's doing work in this game so far. Roland Nato with the ball. I, see, there he just sort of hit, just hit it towards with Central. That's not quite what I want to see from him. I want to see more calculated possession. Trying to set up plays. Almost a goal there. Thankfully, Kozkotopia was there to just send it off the line. I thought there was a, a chance that I was just going to just glide in. Glad to see it didn't. This is, compared to the last game, very low scoring. We're almost through the first half with no goals. Only three shots of the whole game. One of those from West Central, two of those from the Benefit Boys. Quite even, honestly. Not too much happened, but it feels like it's been quite intense. Unlucky from Rollinator, just a little bit over the ball, though. Those balls are quite hard to read. A pass down to Kuskatopia, that could have been a very saucy pinch. Bell's with the possession now. On oh, the double! That's what we want to see from Bell's. That's what we've been missing. Those sort of plays. Great challenge from Penguin Ed. On the dunk. Just sees it in. Squeezes out on pass. That was, that's what we like to see. We now have a goal. Floodgates are open. The Benefit boys, 1-0 up, 2 minutes 20 to go. Can Whiff Central mount a reply here? Or will the Benefit boys extend their lead? A little bit of a whiff there from Benefit boys. Now Whiff Central well, don't have possession. Oh no, is that going in? Oh, and it has gone in. I think, again. Not so much this game. Rotation's been pretty good. But it, up until then, I just don't know what happens with West Central's rotation. I expect a little bit higher level of positioning from all of these players. And I, I understand that these aren't teams that are particularly gelled or have any chemistry. But a lot of these goals are coming from misrotations and just not being in the right place when needed, in, especially defensively. And now we have a two-goal lead from the Benefit Boys. 
not often we have a two goal lead in this series. It's usually been quite close. This has been a bit more of uh, a benefit boys sided game. We'll see if in the last minute 35, West Central can step up to that. They can. You can tell with a reply to that goal very quickly. Great play from Cosgatopia. Puts it in a bad position. Bells try to meet it. Or it. It seemed like a bit of miscommunication, potentially, from the Benefit boys. They Two players went for the same ball. Bells went out to try and meet it. Was unlucky to not meet it. And the, the ball just sort of floated in. There wasn't any particular power. Wasn't an amazing shot or anything. It was just all he needed to do was get it on target, in fairness, Utah. Now we have a one goal game. Now it's looking a bit more interesting. Can we get another overtime potentially? Bells with a touch, not much coming from it. Kuskatopia on the wall. He's choosing to take it down. Penguin Ed just bumping Rollinator. Lucky that Bells was back to cover. So that was a bit of a misplay. Great save from Yuntar. Bells with a rebound. He is showing up this game. This is what I was mentioning. I feel like he hadn't really been a big name in the first two games. But now he's played. Oh, it was an own goal. It was an own goal from Cosgatopia. That is unfortunate. I didn't see that. Wrong place, wrong time. He couldn't do anything about that. He was just trying to rotate back to net. And suddenly the ball is on his car and then in the goal. It was unfortunate, but well played from Bells. He was just. Throwing shots on net, putting pressure on with Central. And he got a goal from it, and he's got a two-goal lead back. Instant reply from Bright Ollie, but what a save from Rollinator. That was so clutch, pinching it off the crossbar. I mean, that could be a decisive save. This is now means they've got 30 seconds left and still have a two-goal cushion because that save. Rollinator might, might have just clutched this game for them. It would have been a bit... Bit of a different sort of atmosphere if it was a one goal game with 30 seconds left. But two goals, the Benefit Boys can be a little bit calmer, I think. But we shall see. Te 12 seconds left. Crazier things have happened. Can Penguin Ed extend the lead? Yes, he can. Nice shot. Unlucky from Bright Ollie. I don't think he just quite read where it was going to be. Slight misposition, I think. Not quite where he needed to be. Could have got that touch. Not quite sure that should have been a goal, but it's looking like game three is going to the benefit, boys. Can we get another one? Rollinator really driving home the fact that it is going to benefit, boys. I feel like this has been a very good game for Rollinator with the saves, the shots, the assists. It has been a good game for Bells, and it has been a good game for Penguin Ed, to be honest. They've all really stepped up this game. It feels like this game has gone a lot different to the first two. This, this has been a very confident showing from Benefit Boys. And now it's 2-1 to the Benefit Boys. Can they end this in the next game? Or are we going to a game five? We shall find out. That was, that was, that was a great game. I, I do think the deciding factor in the two teams that meant the Benefit Boys was a bit more dominant. We're seeing more of Bells, because we know, we know he is a higher-ranked player, like Cuscatopia. They are both the highest-ranking players in the, in the lobby. Uh, we know he's got NSE experience, so it's, it shouldn't bother him that he's playing on stream or anything like that. There shouldn't be many nerves. And he really stepped up this game, and it shows on the scoreline. I mean, he got two goals, two assists. He was a part of almost every goal. He was just dominating, dominating on the field. And it was very entertaining to watch. But I mean, shout out to Rollinator. That save that kept them with the two-goal cushion, I think was very decisive. It was also very clutch, pinching it off the crossbar. I thought it was definitely a goal. Incredible plays from him. Penguin Ed just filling in. I mean, he's got two goals. He got an assist. He, he, was, he, was, he was there. He was showing up that game too, just as much as the other two. And the question is, what's going to happen this game? What do Whiff Central need to do to reply to that game three. That, that's, I'm not sure. We, we didn't see too much from Cosgatopia in the last game, which is obviously massive. That's very impactful that we didn't see much from him. Will, will he step up to keep his team in this series? Are we going to the game five? There's only one way to find out. I mean, that last game for, for a couple minutes was no scoring. And it just sort of all, all fell apart 
for West Central in the la- the latter half. So we'll see. We'll see. Bro, Ollie on defense. Not really sure what to do with the ball because Katopia helped him out there. That's what we like to see. Yumtar nicely placed. Didn't hit it into Rollinator. That was that was that was good placement. It didn't look like he did that much, but if he'd hit it into Rollinator, it would have been a different story. Penguin Ed taking this ball away from defense. No boost though, can't do much. Bright Ollie met it, but well cleared from Bells. Yumtar on the wall, stopping Penguin Ed from getting it, getting it. Nice hit from Bright Ollie, beating out Penguin Ed, sending it to Cuscatopia. Lots of boosts going for Whiff Central on this attack. Can they do something with it? That's the question. A little bit of a whiff from Bright Ollie. Or fake, you never know. Penguin Ed with no boost. Can he get a good 50? He can. That was really good. The no boost 50. That was the only thing he could do right then to score. And he did it. He, he predicted exactly where Cuscatopia was hitting it. Not the greatest play from Cuscatopia to not flip there. He should have flipped and maybe gone for the 50 instead of trying to hit it over Penguin Ed. But great, great play from Penguin Ed to, to score that with no boost against arguably, you know, the best player on with Central. Very impressive. So we're 1-0, 3 minutes 45 left. Is this going to be another shutout from Benefit Boys? Are they going to end this series here? Or are we going to get that spicy Game 5? I'm not going to lie. I'm biased. I kind of want a Game 5, you know? I want to cast for another game. I want to annoy you guys for a little bit longer. But we'll see. We'll see if, uh, if with Central can uh, pull through and get us that Game 5. Penguin Ed with the field's backflip, but nothing came of it, thankfully. Bells was there, staying strong. He's beat the man on the wall. He's got Cuscatopia on a 50. Good fake challenge from Cuscatopia, but still, Bells not giving up. No boost, but he is he's fiending. Roland Nato with full tanker boost and the ball. I'm interested to see what he can do with this. Nice from Bright Ollie on the wall. Didn't Wasn't phased that Roland Nato was hunting down. Bells and Roland Nato both went for the same ball there. And I, hopefully we won't see any more of those double commits because that could be where we're central, you know, really capitalize. Great challenge from Penguin Ed there. Let's put it in a dangerous position. It means Bright Ollie is going to have to use most of his boost to deal with that. Look, he ju did just get the full boost. Bells on the wall. Great pass, but well met by Cuscatopia. But Penguin Ed not letting them get anywhere. It's what we like to see. He's dominating the midfield. Big clear from Cuscatopia. The thing is, all I've seen for like the last 40 seconds is booming clears from Whiff Central and then midfield intercepts from the Benefit Boys, which is favouring the team that's in the lead, really. But we shall see. Got a two on one. Cuscatopia, what can he do? Stayed calm under pressure. Didn't let, didn't let the fact that there was two of them get to him. Very strong. Brick wall in defence. Yumtar booming it out, just met by Bells again. This is what I'm, all I'm seeing is they're under a lot of pressure with Central. So they, want, they naturally want to get rid of the ball. Great redirect from Bells. Very unfortunate to go into the bottom corner. But yeah, all I'm seeing is with Central are under a lot of pressure. So they naturally just want to get rid of the ball. But all they're doing is they're just being met by Bells or Penguin Ed or Rollinator on the midfield and right back to them. They need to sort of pass it around with they clear, maybe try slow it down even get a flick, just try and do something. Great play from Penguin Ed, beating out the man, but calm from Cuscatopia on the line yet again, keeping this to a one-goal game. Only a minute ten left. We do need to see some attacking from Whiff Central. They've only had one shot so far. I, have, I haven't seen them put in any pressure in the last couple of minutes, honestly. And it's, it's coming to crunch time now. And yet again, Bells just can sweep up in the midfield, not, not challenged at all. Seems to be the recurring theme, and it seems to be what's going well for the Benefit Boys. Is that going in? I cannot believe that's going in. Well, maybe the booming clears are the way to go. Maybe I'm, I'll eat my words. Bright Ollie with a banging clear right over Rollinator. Caught him out. Caught him with his hands on his trousers. It's, now we've got one more game. 48 seconds left. This is intense. The game five is on the line, or the series is on the line. I mean, it is match point. For the benefit, boys. This is, uh, and you want to prove this, this is tryouts. And as a player, you really want to prove that you can step up in these high pressure scenarios. Obviously, there's no, there's no reward for winning 
but proving that you can you, you can be the the player that makes the difference when it comes to crunch time is quite important. And we've got West Central with a bit of pressure now, which we haven't seen for a while. It's refreshing to see, actually. And now we've got Bright Ollie meeting in the midfield, trying to do something with that ball. Didn't quite read it right. Penguin Ed was on it. Can West Central see out in overtime? Bells with a good demo, relieved a little bit of pressure there. Roll Nater beat his man. It is. It's still, it's still going. Can we, can we get an overtime, or are we going to see a zero-second banger? The ball is still going to going for benefit, boys. I don't think anything's going to come to that. We have another overtime. Match point overtime. Now it's getting a bit, uh, getting a bit sway. Which team is going to step up to the plate? Which player is going to step up to the plate? Bells with a miss on the wall. Bright Ollie just hitting it back to the benefit boys. Good challenge from Penguin Ed, keeping it in the danger zone. That's what we like to see. He's been he's been on it in the midfield. Great save from Kelskatopia. Never in doubt. Another great challenge from Penguin Ed. These challenges and these 50-50s have been on point from him this game. He's really stepped up this game, in my opinion. He's proven himself. Great shot from Bell's crossbar, but not in. Very unfortunate. Great shot from Rollinator. Oh, and with Central. Live to fight another day. Penguin Ed with another 50. Another challenge. He is not giving up. This ball has not left the final third in a while. Oh, no. Penguin Ed with the whiff. Oh, saved by the bell. Literally. <laughs> Didn't even mean that. Um, I Whiff Central, very lucky to have not conceded. To still be in this series. Oh, another day, Benefit Boys could have put them home. Bright Ollie seems to be panicking a little bit with the possession in his, in his, his final third. Now Kuzgatopia, what can he do with this? He's slowing it down a bit. I'm going to try to meet him. Not great from him this time. Just sort of just throw himself. Nice touch from Rollinator. to cut that out quickly. No chance of a double. That's what you got to do. you got to meet the ball fast. Bouncing around in the midfield a little bit. And booming clear from Bright Ollie. Relieves a bit of pressure. Now they're on the counter-attack. Well met from Penguin Ed. Didn't even give Kuskatopia a thought of shooting, which is what you want. You don't really want to let Kuskatopia shoot, in my opinion. Tends to lead to goals. Nice challenge from Rollinator. Right to Kuskatopia, though. Bells is up to it. Right back to Bright Ollie. Is he going to go for a double here? Should be met. A little bit of a double commit on the wall, but no one around to capitalize, so they get away with it, the benefit boys. Oh, an unfortunate miss. The ball was just rolling for a while. No one really touched it. No one fancied it. Almost two minutes, two and a half minutes into this overtime. This is a lot more intense than the, the game two overtime we had. This is one way to play a match point game in a series. What a day for eSports we've had. This has been a wonderful stream. Some very intense moments. I mean, I'm thinking of the Valorant overtime. Now we've got this going on. This should be a goal. What a save from Bright Ollie. That is such a clutch save. He, just, he has just kept his team. He's kept with Central in this series of that save. Given them a lifeline there. Can they make something from it, though? That's the question. Nice challenge from Bright Ollie again. Just Bell's back right now. But he, he's calm under pressure. He's, he, he hasn't really faltered in the final third. Oh, speaking of faltering in the final third. I don't, shouldn't have really gone in. I mean, great clear from Kuzkotopia Kuz right off the backboard. Penguin Ed just caught out of it. It sort of rooted, was, just couldn't quite get to it. And now we have a game five after a three minute overtime in game four. And after the game three shutout, from Benefit Boys, for Whiff Central to bounce back from that, that is impressive. That is stepping up to the plate. Uh, wow. I mean, I asked for it, didn't I? I wanted a game five. And now you're going to have to listen to me talk for yet another game. I feel for you guys. <laughs> but what, what a game. Um, great saves from Kuskatopia. Clutch save from Bright Ollie in the, uh, in the overtime. I mean, if he didn't make that save, I'd be saying goodbye to you right now. He really he he pulled up. He he pulled through 
in the when his team needed him, which is great. Great performance from him in the tryout so far. Uh, Penguin Ed, he was dominant that game. His midfield game and his challenges and his pressure was insane. That was, I think, that was the best. If if we were doing best player of each game, I think Penguin Ed was definitely the highlight player uh, in that game. And will now the pressure's on even more. It's match point for both of these teams. Who is going to step up to the plate? Who is who is going to falter? Who's going to crack under pressure? Well, join me for the final game of this long day of esports. We got the Scarab from Bright Ollie. I love to see it. I love unconventional cars. We got the Topper from Yumtar. Old school Batmobile as well from Cosmotopia. That's, that's, that's a soft spot to me. Needs to play the old school Batmobile all the time. Love it. Anyway, I'll stop talking about the cars and get into the game. Backboard hit from Bells. Well met from Bright Ollie. Not the greatest touch, but in that position, he just needed to get a touch. And good on him for getting it. Bells playing with Cuscatopia. But thankfully, Bright Ollie was there in the final third to save Cuscatopia, which is something I haven't said too much in this series that Bright Ollie was the clutch one when it came down to it. So it feels like he's really pulled through. He had a shaky first game, but he is really stepping up to the plate. Another great black backboard play from Bright Ollie. Where is where has Whiff Central gone there though? Bright Ollie made that challenge and I just don't know where his teammates went. Because Katopia Yumtar, I think Yumtar went for boost. And I don't know, they just they just got caught lacking there. And Rollinator seems to do it time and time again. In the in the times where the rotation fails, he can find that goal. And he's been pulling through with quite a lot of goals, I think, in the series. So we have a 1-0 lead in the first minute to the benefit, boys. Let's see if they can extend the lead or if Whiff Central can clutch this out and equalize. Maybe we'll get another overtime, a third overtime. We shall see. See how long this series can be. I thought one little best of five might be a quick one, but no. We're in for the long haul. We're ending today on a banger. Not great from Whiff Central, but Bright Ollie on the line. Much better from him. Great shot from Penguin Ed. Yumtop with the save. And Penguin Ed finishes it off. That was interesting, to say the least. Bright Ollie on the line. Not the greatest touch. Yumtop with a clutch save. But Penguin Ed, in the last game and this game, he just seems to be exactly where he's needed. And that's what we like to see. We now have two goal lead. It's, are the benefit boys going to run away with it? That is the question. Demo from Bright Ollie, but well dealt with from the Benefit Boys. Didn't, didn't crack under, only having two people. And now they have another attack. Penguin Ed up, nice touch from him, right to Cuscatopia though. He seems to be taking his time with it, passing it out to Bright Ollie. That was beautiful play, that is the team play. That's what we need to see from Whiff Central. Slowing the play down from Cuscatopia, baiting in the man, knowing he had Bright Ollie to his right, which baited in Bells. I mean, they baited out two thirds of the Benefit Boys for that. And great, great pass and great finish from Bright Ollie. Now we have a game. Two minutes in, one goal in it. This is, this is an intense one. I'm loving it. Very competitive. Cuscatopia, he just doesn't stop. But clutch from Rollinator on the line. Thought that might have floated in. Could have been the equalising goal. Great touch from Bells there. Yumtar had a shot. And if that shot was on target, I think it would have been him. Very necessary touch from Bells there. Cuscatopia. Is he, is he looking to dominate this series? Great shot from Bells. They've been caught out again. With Central just... They, they always seem to leave no third man back. Th no third man back. And the Benefit Boys see that so quickly. They just throw it on net. I mean, great shot from Bells. That's not an easy shot to throw on target by any means. But we're now halfway through game five, final game of this series, and the Benefit Boys have a two-goal lead. It's not, it's not the greatest position for West Central to be in, but you do still have half a game, and I'm seeing a lot more stronger offensive plays from West Central. And what a challenge from Utah. That might just go in and finish off from Cosgatopia. This, this is getting interesting now. 
Penguin Ed for the first time losing a 50 in midfield. Great 50 as well from Utah and Kuzkotopia just making sure. You, you, you've got to secure those goals. You've got to get the, the dog tags, kill confirmed. You've got to make sure. One goal game, two minutes and ten seconds left. This is this could go either way. Nice link up play from Bells and Penguin Ed on the clearance there. Seems like both of these teams are gelling quite well in this final game. I mean, fifth game now. You'd you'd hope so. Great touch from Bells. Nicely met from Bright Ollie. Bells is putting that in the danger zone, but I don't think Penguin Ed quite read what Bells was trying to do there. Thought he was going to leave it. Utah could have a potential shot here. Nice touch from Penguin Ed. Didn't let any double happen. I like to see Bells on these clearances. He's not he's not just booming them away. He's 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 actively looking for his teammates, which is making a lot of difference. Kuskatopia they're shutting that one out. It didn't really come to much. Penguin Ed taking it up the field, but only met by Utah. 50 from Kuskatopia doesn't put it in a great position. Bright Ollie with the scarab and the pirate hat. Looking to make his mark in this game five. Great beat on Penguin Ed. He's, he's not stopping. But nicely met from Roll Mater. Booming clear. Only as far to Yum only as far as to Yumta, though. With a nice touch, but no one's really there for it. And Penguin Ed's gonna cut that out. Cuscatopia on the ball. You don't really want to be that be in net when Cuscatopia's got the ball in the air with boost, but thankfully nothing came of it then. Nicely dealt with from Bright Ollie. Bells could have a potential double hit, but really good save from Cuscatopia. I uh I trust Bells had that on target, I'm not gonna lie. So that was necessary from Cuscatopia. 30 seconds left. He's he's kept his team in this, but they need to act fast. That's an open goal. But great save from Bright Ollie. The clutch saves are coming out, but they need to not be happening right now. 20 seconds left. They need it needs to be them on the offense. It's all well and good to be making these saves. But they're worthless if they can't get this equalizing goal. 12 seconds left. Cuscatopia. Cut out by Penguin Ed, dominant man in the midfield. Can they get one more to send it home? They can. Penguin Ed, what a performance. He has just been he's been all over with Central like a bad rash. Great 50 on Bright Ollie. Yumtar could have potentially got there, but unlucky. Seems like unless some will of the Rocket League gods is on with central side, that is going to be the series. GG's to everyone. That was an insane series. I mean, game five, we had two overtimes. We, it, it was intense. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Such a competitive game. Um, but, there we go. Well done to the Benefit Boys. Well done to everyone. Everyone put in a shift. I'd like to shout out to Bright Ollie with seven saves in that game. That is insane. Scarab is life. Scarab is love. I mean, seven saves is nuts. Unfortunately, West Central couldn't stop making saves and couldn't stop putting on shots. But what, what an incredible series. And I hope you've all had a wonderful day watching all of these great games and all these great players. I hope the Rocket League has been very entertaining. It was very entertaining to me. I hope it wasn't too bad putting up with my voice for five games. Just my voice. I do feel for you. But tune in tomorrow. We've got Overwatch, CSGO, and Rainbow Six, if I'm not mistaken. And if it's anything like today, it's, it's going to be a banger. But anyway, my name's Skeller. Have a nice evening. Warrior,